Dear Jesus, thank you for bringing us together four years ago. And thank you for bringing us together permanently today. This is all for your glory and because of you. And I couldn't have asked for a greater life companion than the one I've got right here. Pray that this day be glorifying to you and be filled with joy and happiness. And that we would honor you with our life as we go forward together. In your name, amen. The Bible begins with a sacrifice and a wedding. God put the man into a deep sleep. As he slept, he removed one of his ribs and replaced it with flesh. God then used the rib that he had taken from the man to make a woman and presented her to the man. The father presents to Adam a bride clothed in no less a gown than the glory of the virginal creation itself. The wedding is held on a bright, sun-filled day in Eden. Adam, the first groom, was so amazed that he broke into poetry and pun, saying in Genesis 2, She shall be called woman, for she came from man. The scriptures end with the wedding, too as the Father presents the bride to the last groom, Jesus. This bride, the church, has as her gown the sacrifice, the payment her beloved made on a dark day, on a hill, on a cross in Jerusalem. In Revelation 19, the word says this, let us celebrate, let us rejoice, let us give him glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, his wife has made herself ready. She has given a bridal gown of bright and shining linen. The linen is the righteousness of the saints. And with this passage, we look forward to that ultimate wedding feast of the Lamb. In between this first and last celebration, scripture is filled with weddings and marriages. Abraham and his wife, Sarah, Isaac and his bride, Rebecca, Jacob, who worked 14 years for his Rachel, even Jesus' first miracle occurred at a wedding in Cana. In each wedding performed, we find shadows of that first wedding in Eden and foreshadowing of that great wedding feast that is to come. Genesis to Revelation, beginning to end, we find the sacrament of marriage. Jesus, we thank you for your presence here, Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I want to bless Joseph and Alexis and proclaim a blessing over their marriage that your presence will always be in their midst and continue to increase from this day forward. In your name I pray, amen. Well, Joseph and Alexis, you have finally made it. By the powers vested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. Joseph, you may kiss your bride.